Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Sending you the purest of love and light always. God is for us. Who can be against us? We're blessed and highly favored. We're anchored, we're safe, and we are protected. So, in shuffling, the snake princess came out. It says, the serpentine path to power. So, to whomever it resonates with, you could be dealing with somebody. And again, we, we for those of you who know the story of, you know, in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve and the snake, with the temptation and the, the with the apple. So, somebody wants to advance but they want to do this by ways or means of deception and here we have the snake whispering in our ear so somebody wants to tell you lies and again the enemy the devil is the father of lies they want you to bite the bait they want you to fall for it it's like this person is like they want to take the shortcut to whatever, wealth, power, you know, to the top, wherever, whatever means necessary. So this is like a warning about somebody in your life, again, male or female, but they want to take this person is a, it's like a princess. They're not even mature still very young but it doesn't mean that they're not mischievous and when i say young is like they're very immature in their mentality their ways of thinking this person could probably feel entitled or the, you know this person could also want to use their body as leverage to tempt you again it's kind of like don't fall for it because for whom this resonate with for you you have a loyal guardian a magical protector is there for you so again you are protected whatever it is that this person wants to tempt you with or they want to beguile you or trick you God always provides a way out of temptation. You, there's going to be a twist in the tale. It says the unexpected, a change you did not see coming. So it's like look out for something. Because sometimes these things, they just pop up on you. Out of the blue. Somebody springs something at you and then they want you to... To, to make a decision right there, right then. Because looking at her, it's like her eyes is like the manipulation. It's like the teary eye, poor me, pity me. Again, that whole seductive attitude. Yeah, you will not let fear stop you this time. So whatever the decisions that you need to make, You're going to go for it. You're not going to let fear stop you. You're not going to let somebody manipulate you or trick you. Frog Princess is as heed wise counsel. Listen. Listen. After sadness, happiness, and hope will return. So it's like you know how that story ended with Adam and Eve in the garden with the snake. So it's like take wise counsel do not fall for it is like you that have here to hear let them hear yeah somebody wants something but they don't want to get it the old-fashioned the hard-working way it could be even that they want to take something from you they want to bring you down and it's like that's a way for them to have leverage because then they will have dirt on you. So again, be careful. Yeah, defend, accept the moon. Let your feelings tell you how. 
So again, you may need to defend yourself or accept something. Again, this is something you'll need to work out in your emotions. But it says, this is the south node. So this person is in their south node. It's about darkness. And again, we have like a reptile wrapped around. It's like they want to get you wrapped around confirmation. Their fingers, they want to get you caught up. There will not be anxiety about trouble. So for those of you, when you see this energy come in and the moon talks about secrets and illusions and lies, it's all about also using your intuition. That it doesn't matter what this person comes with. Maybe in the past, you fell for it. But this time, when they come to you in their south node, you will not be anxious about trouble. It's like even if they say, oh, if you don't do this, I am going to tell people that I have certain details on you or, or evidence you know, to blackmail you. You're going to say, go ahead, I don't care. They're going to want you to remember something, to reconsider something. And it says, now is not the time. Now is not the time to fall for it. Because this person have a need for control or an obsession with, they have a power struggle. And for a lot of you, it's like resurrect. You're going to stand up for yourself. Get to the heart. Do or die. You must. It's like you're not going to let fear, you're not going to allow this person to hold you back. Look, Venus, the attraction of pleasure from good times. So maybe in the past, you were a little bit weak in the flesh. You would have given in to this. And so it's like the enemy knows, you know, the different tricks. And there is nothing new. There is nothing new. It always use the same pleasures. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. So they want to come with feelings, charm, heart, and beauty as a way to get to you. That lustful energy. Yeah, it's like the 11th out for the 11th house. For humanity's sake, your hopes and wishes, do it for the future. It's like you're not thinking about this moment. You're thinking about the, in the long term how this could set you back. How this could jeopardize your freedom, association, your circle of friends. You're going to look at whatever this energy is presenting to you. Yes, it's like it may feel good for the moment, but it could really mess you up, jeopardize you in the long term. Yeah. Maybe if you sometimes when you reject people, they're going to have a drive with the Mars drive for the confrontation of action. So they may want to confront you. They may be angry. Yeah, they, but again, you need to stand up for yourself, to confront this person, to speak up for yourself too. Force yourself to speak up, to be brave, to be bold. It's like to defend yourself. It doesn't matter what they're coming with. It's like you need to, to stand up because again, they're going to want to tell you what they want. They're going to use whatever charm or loss or, you know, to get to you. And then when you don't fall for it, then they're going to want to pull out the threats. Just like how the snake would, you know, tell them, oh, he just don't want you to eat it because then you'll know the difference between good and, 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 and evil. He doesn't want you to be wise. So it's like they're going to threaten you as to why you should do what they want you to do or try to bring up certain past emotions as well. 
Yeah. So you need to stand in your sun energy here. Demonstrate, realize, and act like a leader. Act like a leader. Things brought to life or light. The creation of, the gaining of respect for or from. Yeah, it's like you're a respectable person. You need to stand up for yourself. Act like the leader that you are. It's like don't allow anybody to push you over. Wow. Yes, yeah, Scorpio in Scorpio. Purification to resurrect the secrets of resulting from the power of. So again, it's like, don't allow any secrets. People may say, and again, we have the snake wrapped up in the middle here. It's like, don't allow any secrets to keep you back. Yeah, believe in the extraordinary power of prayer. Like I said before, with every temptation, God finds he will give you a way out. So the extraordinary power of prayer, the highest and lowest aspect of control the situation. Yeah, it's like stand up and take control of the situation. Because this person wants to rock your foundation in the fourth house. What makes you feel secure, support your home base or your family? Yeah. If this doesn't make you feel secure, then it's like, don't do it. Don't fall for it. Don't go for it. This is what spirit is saying. Yeah, so this is all about a gift. This person either wants your gift or they want something from you. This is why they will do anything. It says the serpentine path to power. They will take the devilish way. They will take the sneaky way. There is no law that's too low that this person, man or woman, will not go to get what they want. Yeah, in the family room. So again, this could be somebody that you're familiar with. Somebody who is in a community who you resonate with it's like you you had some feelings with this person in the past maybe you share home you were married to live with this person so it's like a familiar spirit you know this person <laughs> look with a coffin yeah this person all they want to do is put an end to whatever it is that you're working on and it's like they're waiting the 10 9 and 1 10 this is 10 again this person is waiting for something. It's like, again, the serpentine path to power. It's like over there is a castle. And this person, this is where they want to be. They don't want to work for this. They just want to get up every day, look cute, and get there by whatever means necessary. Yeah, we could be talking about a mature woman. Wow, look, thief. The thief and then courtship. So again, this person will try to, you know, just flirt, romance, just whatever it takes. Because it's like, she's looking the other way. It's like, she's not even interested. But again, it's whatever. And talk about the fourth house. It's like, this person is doing this because they want something. This is about their security, their foundation, their stability. It's about how they will look in the community. Again, looking prim, proper, well-dressed, well-groomed, man or woman, but it's not because of the, the sweat of their bro. That's not how they get what they have. They want something and they want to take it the easy way they want to accomplish something but they want to get it by the shortcut so spirit is saying watch out for that pay attention to that kind of spirit yeah this person is wishy-washy look again they're trying to offer something 
But again, it's like for a lot of you, you'll be able to see beyond the veil. You can see what this person is all about. I mean, look at the flowers. They look like they're dying anyway. They don't even, they're hiding something. They don't even want you to see in their eyes. This one, the male doesn't want you to see in there. Again, the illusion, masking, while the female is coming in with the eyes, batting the eyes and, you know, pity me, you know, with that lustful energy as well. But this one, this male may want to come back into your life. They don't want you to see in their eyes because they know that, like I said, the eyes are the window to the soul. This person is coming back because they're looking for a handout. They're looking for something for free. I'm telling you, it's like they want you to give them something. And it's like whatever means necessary. If I have to go and buy or pick up you know, steal some flowers from the cemetery because these look like they've been through it. You know, come with that toxic Jezebel spirit with something tempting, lustful, because again, maybe, maybe this person, you're used to them. Maybe you dealt with them in the past. And so it's like they, they think they know you. So this is how they're coming back in that same spirit. But I believe a lot of you, you've elevated, you I mean, you grew from that situation. You're not in that place anymore. And this is why, like with those cards earlier, a lot of you, you're going to defend yourself. You're going to stand up to these Decepticons. You're not going to fall for it. You're not going to let the snake charm you. You're not going to take a bite of that poisonous apple. And you're going to refuse those blighted flowers. You're not going to accept it. You know, you're going to tell him, return to sender. You know, somebody's missing that from the funeral home. I mean, you know, the, the cemetery. Because they're coming with lies. Like a Don one, a player energy there. This person is very condescending. To clarify, family room. So this could have been something, somebody... Who, like I said, it's a familiar energy. Somebody you're used to. They're a friend. Could be a past lover. They talk down to you. This person is very disrespectful to you. I mean, this is how this person was. Yeah, look. Sexual only. No real emotions. Yeah, like I told you with that courting card we saw with the Kipper. This person is not interested in a relationship. They, I mean, they're a thief. It's like they don't really want you. They just want to get something from you. That's all it is. And it's like they're, they're willing to pull out all the stops in order to get, to get the, the gift. In order to get you to fall for it. Wow. Yeah, this person is a scrub. See? They won't work. They live off other people. Yeah, it's like, this is why they're coming back with the coffin. It's like they want to keep taking from you. Again, they're a thief. They want to rob, kill, and steal, and destroy you. It's like when they're finished with you, you're done. That's what they want to do. It's like Spirit said to cancel this person. Cancel them out. You know, they come in with the rose. Cancel them out. Yeah, this is a narcissist. Again, thief. See, male or female, they're a thief. They're coming to take something from you. That's what they want to do. Wow. That is so clear. Yeah, but a lot of you, you are wiser. You know this, and you're going to stand up, and you're going to protect yourself. Yeah, this person is coming, you know, conceal sexual items discovered. So again... Don't drink anything from this person, these people. You're meeting up with somebody. Don't leave whatever you're drinking unsupervised or unattended. It's like, be careful of what they're handing you, giving you as well. I mean, these this person is not, yeah, they're not right. They're not right. Yeah, schooling. I'm telling you. 
if look the apple again you've you've gone through a lot you live and you learn it's like don't fall for it we also i read to you that other card that talks about take heed listen it's like as long as you do what you're supposed to do then you have nothing to fear because your loyal guardians are with you they're with you you're protected but heed wide counsel listen it's like even if you're alone right now after sadness happiness and hope will return i'm telling you this person is a joker lives in hypocrisy and they enjoy it they have no intention of changing they have no intention of doing better these are player energies they're toxic they're not looking for commitment look inconsistent passion hot and cold yeah at the back here it says content so they are satisfied with their current situation it's just that they want you to be a means to their end they want to trick you they want to take from you so that they can maintain their lifestyle this person is a know-it-all unsolicited unsolicited advice they're annoying so they don't they they have a gift for gab because see when people are lazy they don't want to work they want to distract you is like or they distract you by doing a lot of talking to make it seem as if they're they're with you they're doing the work with you it's like you could be typing and this person all they're sitting there doing is just talking talking but then when you say oh i did a lot of work they say i was there with you but again they, they're lazy they're not doing anything constructive all they're doing is wasting time talking they have a lot of advice to give but they can't help themselves out of a jam so it's like they're looking at you they want to feed off of you it's like be careful of that yeah so for a lot of you you know what the these person or these people they're doing you know you know exactly what's going on earlier when i was oh uh, yeah here it is the high priestess like i said you know what this person is doing as well is like you see beyond the veil she has the scroll hidden behind her robe she's like you know what happens i'm looking at this two way two ways it's like in the upright as the high priestess you're very intuitive you know what this person is about you know but then again i could look at this again this it looks more like a pomegranate this fruit more than an more than an apple but again if we were looking at this in the reverse this person could just be a mother figure they're toxic they're a witchy person they use whatever guidance they have to do things and dibble and dabble in the dark dark art and this person they're hiding their hands they're hiding their hand as to what they're up to and they want to deceive you they want to deceive you so again take it how it resonates but if i'm talking to you and you are intuitive you have these gifts and abilities it's like you know exactly that these people this person they're coming back on demon time they're not up to any good here and also on the other hand as i said male or female this person is practicing witchcraft and they may want to come back to offer you something whatever it is is like don't fall for it it doesn't matter how good it looks don't take it don't fall for the bait don't fall for the bait so for a lot of you i could be talking to an emperor ladies again it's an energy you're a boss you're a leader it's like you have a lot to lose like the card i read earlier 
It's like you have a lot to lose. It's like you have a lot to think about. If you should go back and let this person take from you, or if you fall for the bait, whatever it is, the temptation that they're coming with, you have a lot to lose. Because look at it, you're a boss, you're a leader. It's like the world, you know, is, is in the palm of your hand. And it's like, you're going to give up all of this for what? And even if they say, oh, oh, um, if you don't do it because they're ashamed and embarrassed, I'm going to tell people that you used to do. You're going to say, go ahead, go ahead. Because if I go back with you or fall for those same tricks, I have more to lose. I have too much on the line. I am protected. God is with me, is for me. People are seeing me for who I am, not who I was. So because you leveled up, I mean, the emperor or empress is like you're all the four kings. You've been through a lot in every area. And you leveled up, you mastered up. So it's like this person wants to take from you because clearly you have, you have, you, you have accomplished a lot in your life. I'm telling you, this person, Seven of Swords, they're a trickster, gimmick. They think they're smart. They think they're clever. Again, they want to get that thing or get to the top by whatever means necessary. They want to trick you. They want to con you. Some of them may want to even come to your home. If you're in a community, they want to come around where they know you hang out so that they can see if they can trick you or you know do something to lure you back into those lower vibration we we spoke about the south node they want you are in your north node and they want to bring you down to their level again these people are not changing they're contented how they are it's okay for them to hang out with the snakes all they know is low vibrational things. So this person wants to trick you. So it's like, be careful. I'm telling you, with the coffin, they're a scrub. They're up to no good. They When they're done with you, you're going to be left out in the cold. With the coffin card. I mean, you're going to feel the low of the lowest. Like nothing. And it's like they get what they want. They get your energy. They get your time. They get your money, your mind, whatever it is. They trick you. And we have here conceal. So it's like something is hidden. You know, it's like this person, they want you to give them something. With the six of pentacles, they want you to give, they want handout. And so this is why they're coming back, conceal. They're hiding their true emotions, their true intentions. If it means tricking you with giving you something to eat or drink just so that they can get what they want. Yeah. You learn a lot when it comes to especially your pentacles, your stability. And for a lot of you, you're not letting it go. You're keeping your eyes on the prize. Again, with the schooling, you fell for it a lot and you're not going back. It's like you, you could write books. You have books stocked up of knowledge. You have a wealth of knowledge of what it's like when you give. Because see, sometimes... We realize in life, we end up giving to the wrong people, the wrong person. And it's like, you're not falling for it again. Yeah, this is Joker is a magician. I'm telling you, it's like they're doing witchcraft again with the conceal. Be careful how you take things from people because in the clothing, in the flower, whatever, it's like they have things in there what they, that they want to use to attract you, to let you fall for it because they're manifesting, they're hoping that they can trick you. This person lives in hypocrisy and they enjoy it. They enjoy staying there. 
Because on one hand, they may look as if they're an upstanding person. But I'm telling you, this person, like I, I spoke about with the high priestess, this person is somebody who dibbles and dabbles in witchcraft as well. And this is why they're coming, rub up, you know, have some oil, some things, some portion, whatever. Love spell, glamour spell, so you'll see them in a new light, a new way. Yeah, this is a know-it-all. I'm telling you, six of cup of six of cups, a familiar energy. They're gonna want to remind you of the things of the past. Again, they're giving you advice as if they know everything. Oh, if you don't do this, it's because you want to do that. And if you go over there, something bad is going to happen. They give unsolicited advice, but they can't help themselves. Again, be careful. This person just wants to juggle you. You know, it's like, yeah, he that hath hears to hear, let them hear. A lot of you, you are crushing the enemies. Keep going. You are rising from the ashes and your prayers are answered. I'm telling you, a lot of you, you're psychic, you're intuitive. Look, the lessons are a blessing. You learn a lot of blessing. We saw the books there. Don't sleep on yourself. Wake up, wake up and see life. See people for who they are. You know, new levels, new devils. Okay, so yes. I love that for you. I love it for us. Evil eyes and spells are broken.